Well, hi. Glad you could make it. I'm so happy to see you here at my channel. This is my first read-along, and I'm happy you're here. So uh, please enjoy this book, um, the first one I'm reading to you, and there'll be many more to come. Hope you will visit me regularly and, um, you know, enjoy these books. This one in particular here, to, the first one is called Amelia Bedelia's. It's not, I didn't choose it for any reason other than um, I just have to start somewhere. So I thought you might like this because we're still in school. And, um, you know, this talks about Amelia Bedelia's first day of school. Now it's written by Herman Parrish and the pictures by Lynn Avril. What I plan on doing here with this channel is I wanted to read to you as many books as I can and hope that in hopes that you'll enjoy them and that if you're struggling in school on reading that this this my reading to you will really help you move along so that you'll learn these particular words and you'll learn so much by just reading along with me because everyone needs to learn how to read everyone should know how to read and that's why I'm here for you uh, so that we can read together so here we go this is a fun story. It's about Amelia Bedelia's first day of school. And look what's happening here. Amelia Bedelia couldn't wait to go to school. Here we are, said Mrs. Park, the bus driver. Time to jump off. Amelia Bedelia backed up, then ran as fast as she could and jumped as far as she could. So I'm going to be moving from page to page, so bear with me as I move this book back and forth so that you can read along with me. I'm going to be pointing to every word so you get to know what, I, what they're saying here. Amelia Bedelia landed right on top of a grown-up. Oof! Are you my teacher, she asked. I am Mrs. O'Malley. I teach Jim. Oh, said Amelia Bedelia. I am not Jim. I'm Amelia Bedelia. Can you help me find my teacher? Follow me, said Mrs. O'Malley. And Amelia Bedelia did, right into her new classroom. See the classroom door? It says Miss Edwards over the door. Certain words you're going to get the gist of. They are repeated over and over. So stay with me. All righty, let's go this next page now. Here, there, my name is Miss Edwards. And excuse me, she says, hello there. My name is Miss Edwards. You must be Amelia. How did you know? Asked Amelia Bedelia. Because you're my last tag, Miss Edwards said. And see, this is welcome students. There's Miss Edwards, Amelia's there, and then here's a, look at this girl's name is Penny, and this boy is Clay, and there's Amelia's tag. Okay, next page. Amelia Bedelia started running. You can't catch me, she yelled. I'm too fast. Come back, said Miss Edwards, laughing. We aren't playing tag. I have a name tag for you. Amelia Bedelia looked at her name tag. Something was missing. She added Bedelia. I like my whole name, she said. It rhymes. So it does, said Miss Edwards. Now please sit wherever you like. So she put her last name on there, Bedelia. That was a hard choice for Amelia Bedelia. She liked the pictures of faraway places. She liked the letters marching across the top of the board, A, B, C. She liked the hamster running on its wheel. There's the hamster. She liked everything she saw. So she sat down right in the middle of the classroom. There she is sitting at her desk. Miss Edwards began the day by calling the roll. Amelia Bedelia? What? said Amelia Bedelia. Not what, 
said Miss Edwards. Here. I hear you, said Amelia Bedelia. Good, said Miss Edwards. When you hear your name, say it. It. It, hollered Amelia Bedelia. It, said Miss Edwards. Who is it? I will be it, said Amelia Bedelia. Can we play tag now? Everyone began to laugh. Clap, clap, clap. Shh, be as quiet as mice, said Miss Edwards. Now that I am sure you are here, Amelia Bedelia, I'll read the names of your classmates. Rose, here. Teddy, here. Angel, here. Holly, here. Chip, here. Penny, here. Dawn, here. Their names were very exciting, but Amelia Bedelia still loved her name best of all. We should all love our names. It's very nice. We all have nice names, I'm sure. Plop, plop, plop. Miss Edwards placed a lump of squishy clay on each desk. Let's make our favorite animals, she said. Amelia Bedelia loved hamsters, so she began making one. Rose made a giraffe. Dawn made a pony. And Clay made a big, fat bullfrog. You're funny, Amelia Bedelia, said Clay. You could be the teacher's pet. Amelia Bedelia was not happy. She loved animals, but she did not want to be anyone's pet. She felt like flattening Clay's frog. If you have trouble, chickadees, said Miss Edwards, try wiggling your fingers on that clay. So that is exactly what Amelia Bedelia did. Soon Clay was laughing so hard he could not stop. Amelia Bedelia, said Clay, stop tickling me. Clean up, clean up, everybody clean up, sang Miss Edwards. It's time for music. Mrs. Melody arrived with her guitar and tambourine. We will sing like birds today. La la, she trilled. See, this says tweet, tweet, chirp, chirp. And these are music notes, musical notes, because that's the music teacher. Then said the stu then the students toured the library with Mr. Stax. I want to see your little noses in the books, said Mr. Stax. Ow. She's got her nose in the book, Amelia Bedelia. And over here she's meow. In gym class, Mrs. O'Malley taught them how to run like cheetahs. Now she's in the lunch room. See, there's the lunch lady. At last, it was time for lunch. Do you feel like a sloppy joe? Asked the lady behind the lunch counter. No, said Amelia Bedelia. Do I look like one? Here you are, said the lady. I hope your eyes aren't bigger than your stomach. Me too, said Amelia Bedelia. They would not fit in my head. Amelia Bedelia, said Rose after lunch, do you want to jump rope with us? Amelia Bedelia smiled. 
Sure, she said. She put the rope on the ground and jumped over it. Amelia Bedelia was a terrific rope jumper, Rose giggled. So did Holly and Dawn and Joy. But before long, everyone on the playground was jumping rope the Amelia Bedelia way. There was a time for one last project. Miss Edwards brought out big sheets of blip paper, glue, and scissors. This is free time, she said. Create something wonderful. Amelia Bedelia decided to make daisies for her mother. She got a piece of white paper for the petals and a piece of yellow paper for the centers and another piece of white paper and another piece of yellow paper and another piece of white paper and another piece of yellow paper. Amelia Bedelia, said Miss Edwards, don't be a ping-pong ball. Please sit down. But, but, I need green for the stems. Enough is enough, said Miss Edwards. Please glue yourself to your seat. Look at, she's got the glue. She has the daisies in her hair. So Amelia Bedelia did, and since her daisies didn't have stems, she glued them to her headband until the school day ended. Goodbye, squirrels and ladybugs, said Miss Edwards. She was standing in the doorway, giving everyone a gold star. See you tomorrow. Soon, Amelia Bedelia was the only one left. Amelia Bedelia, said Miss Edwards, why are you still here? Because, said Amelia Bedelia, you told me to glue myself to my seat. So I did, said Miss Edwards, and so I did, said Amelia Bedelia. It gives you a good picture of the classroom. Look at the classroom. Does that remind you of your own classroom at school? Amelia Bedelia stood up, and the chair stood up with her. Miss Edwards chuckled, then laughed out loud. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, Miss Edwards said, I should have known better than to say that to you, especially on your first day of school. As Miss Edwards got Amelia Bedelia unstuck, she whispered, Want to know a secret? Today is my first day of school, too. I am a brand new teacher. We both deserve gold stars, said Amelia Bedelia. You'll have lots of fun tomorrow, Miss said Miss Edwards. We are having an assembly. Hooray, said M Amelia Bedelia. We, what are we going to build? I'll say that one again. What are we going to build? Memories, said Miss Edwards. Then she tapped Amelia Bedelia once on the very top of her head. Tag, said Miss Edwards. You are it until tomorrow. Amelia Bedelia smiled. She couldn't wait to come back to school. Wow, that's the end of that one. And you can see, look at in the back here, there's many books that, that have the title Amelia Bedelia with all her adventures. And, you know, this book, this was my own copy here. So you can find one at, um, you know, your library, public library, or you can purchase one, I'm sure, at a store or a thrift store. Uh, I'm not sponsored by any of these authors. Um, so I just have this book in my collection. 
and I wanted to read it to you today. I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed being with you. Thank you so much and see you again soon. Have a great day.